Hey everybody, welcome one more time. This is RV East Coast. My name is Eli. And I'm Fawn. And today we have a really good episode for you. Yes, today we are showing you 20 easy modifications that you can do to your RV inside and outside. And we're gonna attempt to do it in 10 minutes. So can you, you keep your rambling to a minimum? I, I don't think I can, but let's <laughs> give it a try. I'm can, gonna right? set up a timer right here. One important thing too, every product that we mentioned today, there's gonna be an Amazon link here so you can check it out and also we have an important uh, announcement suggestion for you at the end of this video so you might want to stick around let's get started so we are going to start with all the upgrade uh, modifications that we did inside the trailer then we show you outside. So let's get started. What's number one? So the first thing we did was we upgraded our mattress. So the RV came with a crappy mattress, kind of took the joy out of sleeping in the camper. Yeah. Uh, it was very uncomfortable. We tried a memory foam topper, helped a little, but not that much. So we ended up buying a 10 inch memory foam mattress makes a huge difference. Now yeah. we don't have any problems sleeping here. The name of that mattress is Zinus Ultimate Comfort Memory Foam. I think that's how you say it. All right, number two, um, lifting the bed to access the storage underneath, something that is common on almost every RV was very difficult. The mattress is heavy, that thing, you have to hold it with your shoulder while you look down there. So we put this gas truck and that makes it very, very easy to open the thing. You can literally open it with one finger and that was a good modification. The third one is a stainless steel clothes rack, retractable clothes rack. We hung that in the shower so that we can have an indoor way to dry some of the kids' bathing suits and stuff. In yeah. case we're at a spot where there's nowhere to hang it outside. Sometimes it's raining it's now. Raining. We like camping by the beach. And the good thing is that because it's in the shower, if there is water dripping, it drops into the tub and yeah. then to your gray tank. So pretty mm -hmm. easy, smart modification. The next one is some adhesive bathroom hooks um, for like toilet paper, towels. I'm not sure why RVs don't come equipped. Well, maybe some do, but some don't come equipped with that stuff. Um, but those were easy and they're decorative. They look like they came with the RV um, and they work well for our towel and our toilet paper. Okay, number five was an idea. I wouldn't say it was super easy modification, took a little bit of handiwork, um, but it was uh, turning your, the extra storage space underneath the bunks and splitting that up so we had a little pet condo. So we did a whole video about that to show you how we made that. So we'll put that link here, but that was another modification that we made to accommodate um, our dog or my brother's dog when she's here um, to have a little space to be in away. Yeah. All right, the next modification is command strips and bungee cords. Yes, we use, we keep them on hand at all times you wouldn't believe how many times they come in handy for random stuff um so we have a variety of command hooks in our uh like junk drawer yeah and the bungee cords the bungee cords i a did a whole video about them uh, we use them in so so many ways and you can buy a whole bag that comes with i i don't know 10 or 20 of them and it's amazing how many things you can do in an rv with this the next one is our little foldable ottoman um so we use that for storage but also it's very cute so it can be used for seating if you, like for the kids, not mm -hmm. full grown adults. I wouldn't be sitting on that, but for the kids can sit on it. The way um, I like to use it is when, when we watch TV, then I can put, put my feet, feet on it. Yes, yeah, it's quite comfortable. And it comes in handy. We've used it for blankets. We've used it for shoes. We've used it for a couple different things. Folds up if you're not using it. Tucks right next to the bed when we have to put the uh, slide in. Yeah, we decided to stop using it for shoes because the kids' shoes were a little bit smelly. They don't like that. <laughs> the next modification we made was a soft light that can pretty much be kept on at all times. Um, some of the lights in the trailer are very bright and very harsh. And at night, even the blue light was a little too bright. So this is a night light that we can keep on if we get up in the middle of the night, the kids are yeah. sleeping. Just it's a soft light. And you know, uh, in the evening when you relax, you put some soft music, the little dim light really sets a nice mood in the trailer. Yeah. It's also LED, so it basically uses almost no battery power. Okay, the next modification we made was an extra fire extinguisher and carbon monoxide detector. You can never be too safe in case one is not working. Having another one 
on hand to be extra safe is a good idea. Yeah, we also did a video all about fire safety with Chief Chris Millet from the Leonard Fire Company. And we are gonna put a link to that video here. One other suggestion uh, he had is that the fire extinguisher that was installed at the factory was a little bit too high. And uh, he suggested that we put it a little bit lower so our older, uh, oldest daughter could reach it. So we put that one and we put a new one and we put them both at a lower reach. So in case of an emergency, she knows how to use them. All right, and the last inside modification that we're gonna talk about is the screen door crossbar that we added. It makes it just easier to open and close the door of the RV, especially from the inside. Yeah. It was especially very easy to kids. do. Yeah, very, very easy. And the kids. And they're not grabbing the handle that's close to the door and pinching fingers. They just grab the bar and pull it closed. So now we're gonna move on to the modifications we need to the outside. So number one was the bicycle rack. rack. Yeah, we already made a video review of the bicycle rack. It's one it is one of the items that you ask more often about. It's a stronger uh, bicycle rack and we like it. There are some things that we don't like as well. So if you wanna know about that, go check that video. All right, the next one is the standard battery box for extra storage. You know what that is? No. <laughs> so most RVs come equipped with one battery. However, in the front of the RV, um, there's space for an extra battery. Uh, we don't need one extra battery because we are always camping out with full hookups and we have electricity. Just knock it off. Um, so what, uh, what we did is we bought an extra battery box and it was very, very inexpensive. And yeah, then we use it for all the little tools that we need to hook and unhook the trailer. Okay, number three, another item that I don't know is a plastic ammo box for <laughs> sewer hose accessories. Yeah, so um, you don't want to put your nasty sewer uh, tools in the storage area. I try to keep them outside of the trailer. So we use one of those ammo boxes. They're plastic and we use a U-bolt um, to secure it to the bumper. And that way, all the little tools that you need to hook up the sewer line, uh, the campground, they stay outside of the trailer. Cool. Um, extra lights for storage bay. Okay, the next modification was the extra little lights for the storage area. Yeah, so uh, often when you are at the campground, you need to find a flashlight if you need to look for something in your uh, storage area. Uh, we install a little light in there and we connected the light to the 12 volt line in the RV that uses the, 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 the house power and we don't need to replace the batteries. And it's the same kind that comes from factory for the living room and all the common areas of the RV. Oh, the storage door magnets on the storage area. That's another good modification we made. Yeah, when you are <laughs> trying to look for something in your pastoral storage, that door hitting you right, right in the head was a pain in the butt. And we put these little magnets and they were very, very easy to install and very easy modification. Another easy modification we did was storage for the hitch um, from the truck to the trailer. In case you didn't know, the hitch is one of the things that gets stolen more often from campgrounds. We made a video about that and I'm gonna put the link right here. But uh, we made a little easy way to storage it either when the trailer is at storage or when we are at the campground, we don't wanna drive around with the hitch uh, connected to the truck. All we did is a receiver um, that is placed in the front of the trailer and that's um, another easy modification. Yeah. And that does come in handy because we do want to take the hitch off the truck a lot because then we want to put our bikes on there mm -hmm. so that we can take our bikes around to the towns that we're visiting. So. Yeah. Another modification is the Halo View rear view mirror. Yeah. Okay. Is it a mirror? Camera. camera. <laughs> so um, installing the cameras in, back, in the back of the trailer was one of the best investments I made because it gives me so much peace of mind to back into a site. I am usually the one that is desperate to go to the campground. So often 
I make it to the campground a day before Morning. she does. That means that often I have to back in with no help. Or sometimes when you pull into a gas station, you need to back the trailer. It can be a little bit stressing when you cannot see behind the trailer. So I install the camera. It's not the one that the trailer came wired for, because that one was a little bit too expensive. So we bought another one that was um, about half the price and it works really well. However, we are about to upgrade that one to a newer version. Uh, we're gonna do a review about it soon. That one allows you to look behind the trailer, also look on the sides of the trailer, and also adds uh, extra an extra camera to the back of the truck. Our truck doesn't come equipped with a rear view uh, camera, so that's coming soon. Next one is the cargo wrap bike rack. Yeah, um, we have an extra way to carry bikes. Um, you can check that on that video I was referring to earlier, but it's just another way to to move bicycles with your trailer. We installed this one because back when Arlo was little, the bicycle, uh, the your bicycle had his little seat in the back and it was way too heavy to put it in the front uh, bicycle rack. So this was a good option to install that um, bicycle mount in the cargo rack in the back of the trailer. Okay, our last easy and fun modification we did was um, the vinyl decals on our door. So actually I want to add more to it, but we are still trying to think of a clever catch for our other door. Yeah, but have fun, be creative, paint it if you yeah. want to, it's your trailer. In our case, we cut them with a vinyl. Bye-bye, have a good trip. Say goodbye to our neighbors. In our case, we, we made them um, ourselves. But yeah, decorate your trailer, have fun yeah. with it. And that's all we have for you today, right? So um, we wanted to also do an important announcement. Uh, for every product that we share with you today, we finally open an Amazon Affiliates um, account. So what that means is that we get a small commission if you buy anything that we share with you today. When you buy from any of the links that we are providing um, on the description tab, it doesn't change the price. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It doesn't change the price of what you buy. For you, the price is the same, but Amazon is going to give us a small commission. That way you're helping us, you're helping the channel, and we are helping us create more content for you. In order to be approved, we do have to sell, to sell a certain amount through our affiliates program. So if you're thinking of buying any of these things, please click on the link and buy it that way. Sorry we keep saying hi to the neighbors. Our neighbors are driving by and we have our little yeah. sign outside our trailer that says yeah. RV East Coast. So now we've they actually, don't know. Right, we've actually got a lot of people coming up to us saying that they're at this campground because they saw our reviews. They're going to another campground. A big one is Buttonwood. A lot of people tell us that they were going to Buttonwood because of our reviews. Um, if you go to a campground because of something you specifically saw on our site, please let them know. Um, it helps our relationship with campground owners. Um, the more we can build our reputation um, and our credibility, the more we can get invites to campgrounds, the more reviews we can do. You know, yeah. it just helps us a lot. Yeah. That's all. I hope this video was informative. We're doing our best to create some good content while we're at our same site. <laughs> yeah, seasonal. Yeah, well, we have a couple trips coming up. But yeah, this one is what we have for you today. Thank you once again for watching. My name is Eli. And I'm Fawn. And, and we're RV East Coast. See you later. Bye-bye.